Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's workshop. Yes, I'm in the house. It is hot and we're all struggling with the heat of this summer. Our house is a fairly large house and it does have two air conditioners, but the heat does not make it back to, or the cooling does not make it back to the sunroom very well. This sunroom is 14 by 26, which is about 364 square feet, I think. And it is a struggle, as I'll, I'll show you in another segment. Uh, the sun just pounds on the roof of this room and creates a lot of heat that gets pushed into the rest of the house. So what we want to try to do is reduce the heat out here and hope that that helps cool the rest of the house. So let me show you what I'm working with and what the plans are. So this is our sunroom as seen from the outside. Now this sunroom has a shed type roof on it. So the insulation is in the roof. Uh, it does not have a lowered ceiling. And you can probably, I don't know if you can see the heat wave coming off the top of the shingles, but uh, this room gets very hot. And we do have two air conditioners on the house, but unfortunately they don't quite make it I mean, this room does have ductwork, but it's such a struggle because the sun pounds on this roof from about 2 o'clock in the afternoon until probably 6, maybe 7 o'clock. Uh, the sun is overhead right now. It is 4 o'clock, and it'll continue to just pound the backside of this. So we're going to try to do what we can with this new air conditioner. Currently on our back porch, which is in a shaded area, let's say. Uh, the temperature is 98 degrees, and this is at four o'clock in the afternoon. And so, again, the sun just, even though it's a little overcast right now, it's straight overhead, basically, just pounding down on this roof. So in the sunroom, we do have two ceiling fans. We have AC vents, and those fans, they do their job. Uh, back here we have a soffit that has lights in it. I put those on for this video and that's about it. There's a little closet over here in the corner and uh, we do have our little arrow garden that I've, we've done a video on before. Really like that. It's still producing tons of cherry tomatoes. Uh, our grandson loves those so he every time he comes here he's scooping up cherry tomatoes off of that thing. So what I have here is a GE 12,000 BTU room air conditioner. Now, there is no door on this room between the house and the sunroom. So it's open and again, the heat just transfers from here straight into the kitchen and living area. This is this heat this will cool up to 550 square feet which is overkill for this area, but again, we're gonna to try to push this into the rest of the house. Uh, the energy guide shows yearly estimated yearly energy cost 104. It talks about having different functions on it, turbo cool functionality, and a remote. And I think you, I don't know if this one you can connect your phone or not. I don't know if that's necessary, but it does have a remote. So I'm gonna open this up. The plan is to put it in that window right there, which is probably the only window that has shade at this time of the day, and uh, hopefully that helps. One little observation, being that this is a shed type roof, I can show you that it's 86 degrees. That in our living area, temperature is 80 degrees. So pretty good difference from the sunroom to this area and every little bit is going to help when you're trying to cool down the bigger space. Okay, let's open this up and see what's inside.
Hey, look, the whole bottom comes off. <laughs> now you know. So it looks like it's got a channel up here at the top that your window would sit in, I assume, your, door, your window closing on it. It also has a channel on the side here and another channel on this side. It looks like that can come out. So for whatever reason that's loose like that, I don't know. But we'll look at the instructions and see what it says. Now, these instructions tell you for the tools you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver pencil, tape measure, level, and scissors or knife. Here it talks about the parts that are included. This upper piece is already attached and it looks like those pieces that I talked about earlier on the side, they're not in here. Uh, we'll more on that in just a second. This uh, sealer or sealer, gasket sealer and some weather stripping, the accordion pieces that go around the uh, unit itself and then a few different screws and some clips that are going to help hold everything in place. As you go further back in the instructions, it talks about if you have like a storm style window, which is what I have basically, um, it tells you your window requirements for the opening and then also storm window requirements. And it talks about here how you need to elevate off of the sill to have the unit sit right because if you don't, it's going to want to tilt. So that'll have to be determined by you and your, uh, your configuration. I did use a piece of wood. Um, I have it in the window. I can show you that. And basically, I went with a, um, a two by, I guess it would be a two by three. So it's inch and a half tall, and then it's two and a half deep. And I'm going to put that on the, the window opening so that it actually sits on that piece of wood and not on the flange uh, that would be the closing point for the uh, opening part of the window. So here it talks about preparing the air conditioner. In this step, it tells you to put that channel on, but it's already on top, so we don't have to worry about that. The accordion pieces, looks like they drop in on the sides of the air conditioner. So those pieces that I talked about earlier, looks like you may take those off and slip the accordions in unless they interact directly with those pieces. So we'll find that out. It tells you to put in uh, some, some weather stripping around the window opening and install the air conditioner in the window, mark the center of the window, set the air conditioner in the window so that it's centered, uh, place the air conditioner so that the front edge of the bottom mounting rail is against the back edge of the sill. So I'll have to look at that and then bring the window down so that the front edge of the top rail is in, in front of the window. Make sure that the air conditioner is level or tilting slightly to the outside. So what they mean by that is tilting downward, um, and that's probably more about drainage uh, for any kind of moisture. And then extend the panels until they fill the window, place the frame lock, uh, attach those, and install the air conditioner in the window, setting in place, showing you these different uh, pieces around it. And then it, for your various uh, little tabs, you know, if you have a vinyl window, it tells you to use this in wood. They want you to actually screw into the wood and then also stuff the foam between the glass and the window to prevent air, insects, and such from getting inside. From there, you can take notes if you want to take notes. And then basically troubleshooting and various other things. So we'll see if um, I can get all this in place and we'll see how it looks. Now in the secondary package, there is a remote, little thin remote, so we're not going to worry about that right now. There's some gasket material, rather thin. There is some foam. Looks like one is sticky and the other one is just kind of a thick piece. That's the one you would probably tuck in. This has the bag with the little clips in it, screws and hardware. And then of course the two accordion pieces. So I'm going to take the tape off of these see how well that goes. Oh, 
Okay, so looking at this accordion piece as they talk about, they do have labeling on. It says left and right. You can read that or not. And it looks like you can stretch that out. And this piece that was in the side of the air conditioner, it appears that these interact together. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to stretch it all the way out for you. And that slides onto that. So, that's just like a, I guess a secondary piece, you know, for different designs. Um, let's see if I can get this on here now. I'm probably doing it slightly out of sequence, but I want to show you how this works. that and that piece interacts now ah there we go that's what I thought the tr this pe the trim the uh, accordion piece will slide inside of that track so that's what gives you your width adjustment I just have to get it set right on the bottom on this one this and I'll have to reattach to the uh, track piece. Good. This is the piece of wood I was talking about. It's not the full length and you could make one the full length, but I'm really supporting the center piece, the heavy part of the air conditioner. Now, it did say put screws in this, and I would probably normally do that, but I don't know that I'm gonna be leaving this air conditioner in here on a permanent basis. I may be upgrading later on. So for now, this is just sitting here. And I'm just gonna put the weight of it on there and see what happens. Okay. So I put it up in the window and I just plugged it in to see how well it would work. Um, if I turn on my laser pointer here showing basically the inlet temperature, that's the lower section. And then the upper is showing the outlet. And there's various numbers there. I had one I read earlier was 61, there's 64, so 63. So you might see some variation just because of where the laser pointer is hitting. Now. I can already feel a difference out here in the sunroom and I know, at least I, I think I know, that it should help the rest of the house as well. Some observations with this. It talks about using a block of wood down here on the bottom. I don't see any benefit to that because on the bottom of the air conditioner, where, I know this picture is not very big, but there's a cleat down here. And what I mean by that, it's a it's a, a square piece, and that's where the side pieces slide into. Well, if you put a block and raise it up off of the sill, or off of the vinyl opening, let's say, uh, it actually elevates that block section as well, which to me needs to sit against the outside of the window because it wants to lean back. It needs to lean back at 3.5 degrees or be level, and that's because of drainage. So the top lip, catches on the inside and the bottom lip catches on the outside so that when it tilts it kind of hangs on. So I don't think I'm going to put the block of wood in there. The other thing is it gives you this gasket material and in looking at it, um, let me just turn this off for just a second. As I'm looking at this I want to consider it tells you to use this long strip to put up here underneath where the, the uh, sash comes down and then here at the bottom where it would meet the lower section. So it tells you to cut this into two long pieces. Well, here's the problem. One long piece would cover that much and then you're left with that much material left over. 
So you may have to get creative. I don't know why they only give you that much if this is the piece they want you to use. It talks about having foam and adhesive backing. The other piece is this big piece of foam. Well, there's no adhesive to that. So ideally what this is meant for is to come outside in these areas where the channel is, tuck it in, and try to seal off any of these gaps. The, uh, the other piece that is with this is this adhesive. And this is about maybe three quarters of an inch wide strips. So you can see there, I can bend it over and show you that. What I think this is for is, and I may even say it in the instructions, but in my opinion, what this is for is going into these gaps on the side here. Because there is still, you can see daylight coming through on the side of this. So if you cut these pieces, you can stick it into that corner and create a seal. Now, I may end up adding more sealer, uh, more type of, another type of sealer, let's say, another piece of foam or something, uh, just to try to help fill in those gaps. One more thing, as it talks about putting everything together, there is this hardware. Now, one set of hardware is for the wood sash, and the other one is for the vinyl. And let me give you a little close-up on this as to what I'm going to show you, but this clip, and there's five screws in this bag along with this, there's two of these clips. Let me just show you what they do. So once you have it in and you're happy with the way it's sealed and everything, this little clip is designed to snap over your sill and your slider piece. And that way it can't be pulled out or you know be make some effort to pull that out. And the idea is that you would drill a hole and put a screw in there. Along with that, up here at the top there's three holes. So there's one there, there's one here in the center, and one over on this side. And again, that's what these screws are for. Now it does also recommend, and I think it said it in the instructions, to take an eighth inch drill bit and drill a hole. And I will do this because I want, I want to make sure this is not going to fall out. So you run these screws into the bottom of your window. And that's for the vinyl. The other one has some pieces to attach to wood. I'm not going to go over that because I don't have that. So basically, it's, it's up and running. I just need to verify how I want to seal it off and make sure that uh, I'm happy with that. These little sliders, in my case, there's a, there's a flange over here. And I know it's kind of, hard to, kind of hard to show you that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little. But you can, if I slide this back, there is a, a flange right here. And it would be nice if that went into the track, but it doesn't. It just butts up against it. So there's really nothing I can do about that. If I try to adjust it one way or the other, because this upper piece sits against the inside of the window, so I can't go out any further regardless. I can't push it out any further. And down, and down at the bottom, it's basically the same thing. You can't push it further out, especially if you have one of these clips on the bottom that is holding it up against your bottom section of the vinyl window. So again, I don't think I'm going to add any block of wood underneath here. I don't think it's it's needed at this point. If, if I see something happening and I need to add it, I will. But I like the way it's configured, at least at this point. So now we have some air conditioning out here in our sunroom. Of course, I still have to put the foam and all that stuff in, but that'll come later. Uh, probably not really worth it to show you that. I know it took both me and my wife to set this in place. It was just too awkward to try to do it by myself. Uh, I do want to show you that you have this nice little remote and it has this uh, little pull tab on the back. I assume to pull that out, maybe, yeah. And it should allow me to turn on the unit.
And it has different functions on here. It talks about e economy and sleep, fan, turbo, timer, temperature up, temperature down, and mode. So when you go through the modes, if I click on that, it has a dry feature, which is probably just like a dehumidifier. And then cool and fan. So you can just have a fan blowing if you want. And economy. I'm not sure exactly what that entails, but if it says economy, it means it's what not running as hard. I don't know. So I'm going to go back to cool. Let that run for now, and probably later on, either this this evening uh, or tomorrow morning, I will come back and put the rest of the foam and all that stuff around it and make sure it's sealed up. I got something else to show you. I forgot to mention this front section. You can open it up, remove that, and this is your filter. So you can take that out and clean it. Um, let me see. There we go. So it looks like you can just kind of rotate it up, slide it out, and clean out anytime you need to. Just pop it right back in. show you I did come back and add some of this tape around these different gaps I put the screws in on both sides of these panels I could not get a screw there because the drill was too low the body of the drill was hitting uh, because the way this is set up this distance from here to the bottom is very short so it's hard to get an angle to where you can put a screw in that I did put the clips down here and then I used that white tape that they had and went around any of the gaps. This length, this, this piece runs from here to about there and then I had to rip another piece and put it in. So I may go get a different type of tape. You know, this, this doesn't seal super well. And for now, it's just going to have to do. On the outside, I put the black foam in this gap on the outside to help seal up these edges and on this top portion I took that sticky tape foam and stuck it to the bottom of the sill. The other thing I see there's not enough tape to go all the way around this bottom edge so again I'll add some more to that later on. I may find a way to improve it I don't know but we left this uh, we had this running last night and it helped tremendously. Okay, so I think that'll be the end of this video. Hopefully you got some information on there that will help you if you're looking to buy one of these or install one of these. This number on this one is the AKLK12, which is the 12,000 BTU air conditioner. It also has a Wi-Fi feature on it, so you can connect it to your phone. I'm not going to go over that. Uh, obviously, if you're interested in that, you could you know, get one of these and use the instructions to set it up on your phone. I think there's a a code or something you can scan on there maybe that would help you with that process but you know if you want to you can have it up to your phone and operate it separately um, just to give you a, just a quick quick look at that it does say Wi-Fi setup right here in the instructions and apparently there is a panel on the right side if you were looking forward or left side if you're looking straight at it and it gives you a password and a network so there's some some information there to hook up your uh, phone to it and then some other information on Wi-Fi um, and that's about it one year limited warranty and like I said we may we may end up doing something different out here we had talked about putting in a mini split but at this time we just couldn't pull it off so we decided to go with the window unit use it for what it's worth and if we decide to put a mini split in later we'll do that so anyway thanks for watching uh, if you would leave a comment leave a thumbs up let me know what you think about this video and until next time take care of yourselves see you
So I realized I didn't make any shots from outside. This has been in operation for probably a month or so now. And I wanted to show that I did put the foam in that gap behind the accordion piece. There's also some foam up here at the top. You can see some of it sticking out. It's going to get it tucked in the way I wanted, but it's there. Down below, this is the foam piece that is sealing off the bottom edge. So that's working. Uh, it also talked about in the instructions that this is a drain plug. Now it tells you to not remove this drain plug because it actually wants you to keep some water in there so that when it's running it'll splash up on the interior parts of the AC unit and help it function better. So that's there's water in you can I'm probably can't, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there is some water inside there. Otherwise, everything else is sealed up like it should be. And uh it's working great and doing a good job.